this vintage, a little golden activity book called How to Tell Time. Has a copyright of 1957. This is what the back looks like. It has a little pull out here about telling time along, telling time long ago, sort of like a timeline of telling time. And then the story starts here. Tommy's name was Tommy O'Toole, but his family called him Tommy Too Late because that was what he was, always late. He was late getting up in the mornings, he was late for breakfast, and he was almost always late for school. Something had to be done, even Tommy could see that. But what should it be? What can we do? asked Tommy's mother. Well, said his father, we can turn his bed so the morning sun will shine on his face. People long ago used to tell time by the sun and its shadows. Maybe that will wake him up. Next morning, the sun woke Tommy, but he took too long about dressing and breakfast that he was still late to school. We'll try an old-fashioned sand glass, said his father. People long ago used to time their work by the sand slipping through. So they tilted up the sand when Tommy got up in the morning. As it slipped through the small hole, he washed and dressed and ate his breakfast. <coughs> Excuse me. And before that sand had all flown through, Tommy was on his way to school. But, oh dear, he saw a steam shovel at work and he stopped to watch it. Then, of course, being Tommy, he lost track of time and so he was late again. Tommy's father and mother tried again and again. They set up a sundial in the garden. Then the sun would cast a shadow to show when it was time for Tommy to come in. They lit a candle in the evening with marks on the candle side to show when it was time for Tommy to get ready for bed. But Tommy O'Toole was still Tommy too late almost all the time. There's just one more thing we can try, Tommy's father said with a sigh. Let's try it, said his mother. Tommy's father came home one day with a small box. He called Tommy to him. I have brought you a friend to go with you everywhere to tell you what time it is, he said. He opened the box. There was a watch, just like Daddy's own. But how does it tell me the time, Tommy asked. You must learn to read it, Tommy's father said. This friend talks with his hands. This shorter hand is the hour hand. It points to the hour of the day or night. Tommy began to count the hour numbers all around the face. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You can do this too, can't you? On the front of the book, of course. This is getting up time in the morning, said Tommy's father. Seven o'clock, read Tommy. I get up at seven. This is leave for school time, said Tommy's father. Eight o'clock, read Tommy. I leave for school at eight. This is lunchtime, said Tommy's father. Twelve, read Tommy. Lunchtime is at twelve o'clock. This is home from school time, said Tommy's father. Three o'clock, read Tommy. Home from school at three. This is time to come in for supper, said Tommy's father. Five o'clock, read Tommy. In for supper at five. Bedtime, said Tommy's father. Seven o'clock, read Tommy. Bedtime is at seven. But seven is getting up time too, he said. Yes, said his father. The hour hand circles the 12 hours once every day and once every night. Oops, turned. What about the other hand, asked Tommy. The longer hand on your watch is the minute hand. The minute it tells are very short. So it circles the watch face every hour. It starts from the top, say at four o'clock. Every five minutes it passes a number. When the minute hand is on three, it is 15 past four or quarter past four. At half past four, the minute hand is down at the bottom halfway around. The minute hand circles back toward the top. When it is on nine, it is 15 minutes to five and a quarter to five. When it reaches the top, an hour has passed. It is five o'clock then. Four o'clock is haircut time today, said Tommy's father. So Tommy sets the hands at four o'clock. 10 o'clock is recess time at school, said Tommy's father. So Tommy set the hands at 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock is time for a swim in the pool, said Tommy's father. So Tommy set the hands at 11 o'clock. A watch will be your good friend always if you take good care of it, said Tommy's father. But how do I do that, asked Tommy. Take it off carefully before you play in the water or sand. Put it down gently in a good safe place. Wind your watch every morning gently, not too hard. If you take care, your watch will last for a long time. So Tommy took care of his watch. He wore it wherever he went and it told him the time. Now when Tommy is asked what his name is, 
he says Tommy O'Toole, but his family calls him Tommy on time because that is what he is now, always on time. The end.